future is here and it's amazing. The Tesla Model S is a true game changer for cars. Every facet of its design screams novelty. Absolutely nothing is traditional. Sure, it has four wheels, which some might say is traditional, and yes, its doors open normally instead of being gullwing doors like the DeLorean, which others might say is pretty traditional. But to that, I say, everything else is original. For starters, the Model S is the mass-produced electronic vehicle that made Elon Musk's Californian-based company a force to be reckoned with in 2012. It bucked the trend of cars requiring fossil fuels, because beneath a fairly conventional silhouette lies two electric motors drawing on up to a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. At least in 2012 it did. Electric vehicles have come a long way since 2012, especially in the battery technology. And this 2019 model packs an astonishing 1.21 gigawatt hours. And its performance is sure to excite. It can do 0 to 60 in under 2.5 seconds. It is addictively quick. But as power is delivered to all four wheels, the chassis keeps a nice low centre of gravity and it never feels out of control. The Model S has a mind-boggling 864 foot-pounds of torque, which quite frankly is a shitload of torque. Don't even talk to me about how much torque it's got. So you might be asking yourself the question, how does it drive? The Model S has a steering wheel as well as accelerating and braking pedals, which you can turn and press with your hands and feet respectively. Driving the Model S is pure bliss. The electric engine sounds very suppressed, giving you a quiet ride. It performs well on those out-of-town drives, but drives admirably in the city too, as it does not sit obscenely close to the ground, grinding its nose on any slight change in elevation. It might be a bit wide for country lanes though, depending on where you live. It feels pretty agile for a car of its size, and it has an autopilot too, but it is costly and can be used unwisely. It is impossible to talk about the interior of the Model S without describing the 17-inch elephant slash touchscreen that dominates the dashboard. It handles everything from viewing the latest internet memes to reading Elon Musk's latest tweets on anime, and its interface is polished, so there's not much to argue about. The rest of the interior is nice too. The seats have cushiony bits that feel nice on your butt and back. There's a lot of space too, with a decent boot that you can add seats to to convert the vehicle to a seven-seater, as well as a sizable frunk or front trunk. Overall, it's a much nicer interior than my apartment that I'm renting short term because Janice and I broke up. The Model S will set you back financially, usually at the point of purchase where the car dealership transfers ownership of the car to you. The amount varies, but maybe upwards of £130,000 for the model with all the bells and whistles. With enhanced auto driving costing £4,800, full self-driving options are another £2,900, and bells and whistles physically glued onto the car chassis will set you back another £1,400. We would also suggest a £300 wall box charger for your home to conveniently recharge your car. One thing to remember though, is that you will not be paying for fuel, road tax or congestion charge. There's no denying the ingenuity of the Model S. The idea of a performance driven EV, affordable but impressive in its utility, handling and onboard gadgets, has never been so fully realised. But can it play Skyrim? No. And that's why I give the Tesla Model S a 0 fuss rodars out of 10. It cannot play Skyrim. Thanks for watching this episode of Can I Play Skyrim Reviews, where each month I rate something 0 or 10 depending on if it can play Skyrim. Be sure to one hand that subscribe button, or else I will cast destruction magic on you. I've been your host, Jibbanut McSpiffless, and I'll see you in the next review. Until then, be sure not to take an arrow in the knee. That, that's a Skyrim, that's a Skyrim meme. Okay, cut that, cut that out. Mr. Editor, Alan plays video games, was that your name? Cut this, this whole section does not need to be here. Uh, does not need to be here at all.